Hello third violins and welcome to your video for the little classic suite overture, the first movement. Let's talk a little bit about your rhythms before you get started playing. So first of all, sorry I have not corrected it in my part, but this should be the do a deer rhythm. This should be a dotted quarter note, right? The beginning here goes half note, three, four, do a deer, rest, one, three, four, one, two, right? So it is correct over here and measure six, that should be the same rhythm as over here. So you, if your part doesn't have a little dot right there, you can take a pencil and draw one. At measure nine, you have a very important rhythm and a very important part in measure 10. Everybody plays in measure nine, do, a do, a deer, but only the third violins and cello have taco, rice, rice, and then everybody comes back in. Do, a do, a deer, solo time, taco, rice, rice. So make sure that you follow our practice procedures for these two measures, right? So step one is practicing it by saying the food words, the rhythmic food words. Step two is saying your finger numbers for this passage, which will actually show you something that um, makes these two measures very similar. The notes look different, but if you say your finger numbers out loud, you'll discover a cool little secret. Uh, the third step is to say your finger numbers while moving your fingers on the instrument. And when you've mastered that step, go on to step four, which is grabbing your bow and playing along. So, uh, remember that uh, going on with the rhythm stuff, in measure 16 here, we have here comes the bride. That very, very snappy, bop, bop, ba -da. Um, yeah, you guys, um, you guys have a, a rather simple uh, rest of the piece, so I don't have to teach you the bell pepper taco rhythm or, or anything crazy. Um, just make sure that you keep track of all the tacos that are coming in, uh, in measure 27, right? Keep track of all of the stuff happening here and really own it. Own these beats right here because some people are playing a different rhythm there and it would be really cool to hear the, the rhythmic stability of the lower strings playing beats three and four very clearly and have the first violins do their do uh, deer rhythm and, and just make all of that fit together. So. Go practice some of these tricky spots by yourself before coming to play along with the video. When you're really comfortable and confident, come play with me. Good luck and happy practicing. One, two, ready, go.